Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing the review on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I tried this about, eh, it's been a while, and I did it out of a tester. So I always had it on my wish list to buy and then just never got around to it. And I thought, you know, that foundation, from what I remember, did good. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it and try it again. So I've used it a couple times and I really like it. Now I remember why I put it on my to purchase list. I just can't believe it took me this long to get around to it. So it, it creates a beautiful look. The color is nice. I mean, it, it fits, it matches, it goes on great. I've got a lot of red in my skin right now and it just does a great job covering without me having to use any kind of concealers, color correctors, etc. So this foundation, I'm really glad that I picked up again. I, I I just can't figure out why I didn't buy this a long time ago. So this is kind of almost my everyday go-to foundation just because it does an amazing job. If you've used this, I'd like to hear your comments, thoughts, questions. Give me some answers. I don't know. I don't know. Give me something. So anyways, if you want to see how this foundation performs, you're in the right spot. Stay tuned. Well, good morning, y'all. I went ahead and applied the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer a second ago. And now I'm going to try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. So I did try this a long time ago, maybe a year ago, and um, it was with a tester, a little tester thing. So. I decided, you know, I want to see, because I really liked it in the little tester, and it was on my to buy list again, and I never got around to it. So I'm going to see if I love this today as much as I did in the tester. I've tried some foundations recently and just have been underwhelmed for the most part. So yeah, I just, I felt the need to try something not in a tester. And I think this is the only foundation I tried out of a tester too. So yeah, I just want to see how this baby performs. Not that a tester should be any different, but how do I know? I've never bought the bottle. Okay, so this says that it's made Makeup Forever um, in Paris, France, and that's all I see basically on that. And I'm trying to see what color I got. Y245 is at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and finish powdering and doing everything on my face like I normally do. And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna come back around and say, how did this look? How did it look by end of day? Because I know someone wants to know. <laughs> really, I just wanna know. Um, I've decided to clean out my foundations and figure out which ones I really like for my skin and which ones, eh, clear some of those out. And from now on, if they don't make the yay stack, then I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. I don't know why I've kept them um, other than, well, not other than, it just is taking up a lot of space and yeah, I I need I need space. Okay, I'm setting this with the studio studio makeup powder. And then I will set this with the hangover three in one. Well, it's a replenishing primer and setting spray 
coconut water. It does smell really good. I will give it that. So we'll set this baby in its spot. Now the only thing I don't like about this primer spray is the when you spray it, it's got a very narrow range where Scandinavia has a really wide range when it sprays. So I feel like I have to use more with the Too Faced since I've got a very narrow spot that it can spray. But you know what? It smells really good. It smells really good. I mean, if you like coconut, it smells really good. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and here we go. Okay, it's end of day and let's see how this Makeup Forever HD did since we are revisiting it. And, dun dun dun, here we go. Ooh, we're so close and personal. Okay, so we're all close and personal. Um, you can tell where I've had my glasses today, so that's broke apart. You can tell that it's sticking in my dry patches. I just don't know why my nose does that. So on this side, you can see definitely where the glasses sat and moved. Um, you can tell on my chin, it's kind of broken up. The edges of my nose, kind of breaking up. My forehead really isn't bad overall. I just wish that the foundation would stick as well on my cheeks or stick as well on my nose as it does on my cheeks. But it doesn't. No, it never does. So anyways, that's kind of the end of the day. Okay, so let's see how many hours. About 12 hours is what it has set up. And you can tell, look at my lovely eyes watering from the allergies. Normally it's always my left eye. I don't know what's going on with my right eye, but it's been bad this last week. So, okay, at the end of the day, it has broke up a little bit. Um, I realize I can't wear glasses because if I do, it breaks apart there. But at the end of the 12 hour day, I feel like had I padded, maybe put some powder on throughout the day, it would have done a great job because, you know, getting my makeup done at 6.30 in the morning, having it this way, being out in the elements, um, it really hasn't been bad for 12 hours. So I feel like if I would have taken care of it better during the workday, padding, maybe, you know, powdering, etc., um, it would still look amazing because it doesn't, it doesn't look bad for the end of 12 hours. So what are your thoughts? You got close and personal with me. Am I just in a good mood? Do I just really like this foundation overall? Um, if you've used it, I'd like to hear from you. So please feel free to put your comments below because I'm curious, Do you? how do you feel about this foundation? So anyways, I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you Thank you so much video. for watching this video today using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.